Number four on the, actually, not in any particular order, list of things that I think makes the Scadio 2 the most unlike other drones is the superior tracking ability. Other competing drones like those in the Autel, Evo, and DJI family, and similar ones in the same class as the Skydio 2, they have the ability to actively track a moving subject. And their capability of some of these drones of staying with their subject, particularly in close quarters with obstructions present or across varying elevations, those things have improved a lot in those other drones in the last few years. But there are two ingredients that hugely elevate the Skydio 2's tracking of prowess over the others. That's GPS honing and its artificial intelligence predictive movement algorithms. It's AI. Based on my observation of other videos on YouTube of how other drones perform, it seems like the active track or dynamic track or whatever name a particular company has dubbed the follow me feature of their product, the behavior of those drones is relatively robotic. When the natural flight path around a moving subject causes an obstacle to interrupt the drone's direct line of sight on its target, it seems like they just give up and lose you. Or when the drone is flying at a particular speed and the subject it's following is going at a different speed, the drone doesn't adjust its flight behavior accordingly. And before you know it, the drone's lost you. My point is that in these other drones, it seems like they lose track of the target even when they're not fully obstructed and it won't ad necessarily adjust the flight dynamics according to changes in what the target is doing. And if the target becomes obstructed from view, even for just a moment, those drones don't seem to anticipate when or where the subject might reappear the way the Skydio 2 does. And I'm not saying the Skydio 2 is perfect 100% of the time either. It does have occasional quirks that I covered thoroughly in part two of this episode, but when it comes to tracking, particularly in an environment with obstacles or outright obstructions, the typical behavior of the Skydio 2 is in a different universe than the others. The Skydio 2 constantly evaluates its flight path to stay right with you. It dynamically changes its speed, its elevation, its attitude, whatever it needs to do to keep you in there. And I'll tell you, watching the acrobatics the Skydio 2 does when hauling ass to stay with you or comply with the desired angle change, it's, it's, it's amazing. It doesn't matter if the course causes a bunch of stuff to get in the way, like if you pass behind a line of hedges or, heck, even a landmass, like a honey badger, Scotty or two don't care. Look, a snake's up in the tree. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a shit. It just takes what it wants. And if the Scotty O2 does get substantially separated from the subject it's tracking, they've baked problem-solving capability into this thing. Check out this clip from Never Mind Your Own's YouTube channel. It's about a minute long, but it's one of the most unbelievable demonstrations of the Skydio 2 AI's autonomous tracking ability in action that I have ever seen. It's awesome. Here's the clip. Wow. That's not good. It's falling behind again. in the middle of the trees. It's finding its way. <laughs> Incredible, man. It, it is finding a way.
like this. This is already amazing. What it's doing right now, you know, that it's finding its way through the forest. Yeah, it's got me. It locked on to me. Okay, now go. All right, setting aside the probability that a human pilot may have chosen a different course than what we just saw, notwithstanding the question of whether any non-FPV pilot could have navigated themselves through woods like that, my question to you is, does any other drone have the capability of tracking their subject like that? Hell no! 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 So, in the category of tracking ability, Enough said. 